again and welcome back. But today we're going to talk about these older ponies when their backs start to dip. Or indeed even those of you whose horses have been out of work during lockdown and you found that maybe they've dropped away a little bit and you can't get your saddle fitter out quite yet. So I'm going to talk you through a couple of really small, really quick exercises that you can do with your horse to help their back get into a slightly better shape, ready for when you put your saddle back on or when your saddle fitter comes out to fit your saddle. Because the other issue that you, because the other issue that you'll have is that if your saddle fitter comes out tomorrow and makes your saddle fit and your horse's back has dropped, in a month's time when it's lifted back up again, it won't fit the same. So these are really useful exercises to use. Anytime your horse is out of work, their back drops a little bit and you want to build it back up again, but for whatever reason, you can't ride. So today is an exceptionally sunny day, so excuse my squinting in the sun. So this is Lonnie, he's a Highland pony. He loves nothing more than eating, sleeping, and having his bum scratched. He, ooh, like a bum scratch, don't you? He now is almost 20 years old, and this year, because we've not ridden during lockdown, we can really see it in his back. So normally his back, is much flatter than this but because he's not been ridden he's dropped a little bit of muscle and it's dropped down his belly has dropped a little bit you may be struggling to get your saddle fitter out at the moment because they're very busy trying to book everybody back in so some things you can do before your saddle fitter comes out now number one we talk all the time about horses backs we talk about their backs being strong and their backs bearing our weight and if your horse's back knees doing back 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 but actually what we don't consider is the abdominal muscles. It's actually these muscles that support us, these muscles through their tummy that support us and our weight on their back, much more than their back muscles. Their back muscles actually, this is called something called the longissimus dorsi that runs through their back here. And that's actually used for movement more than it is for kind of weight bearing. It's these muscles here that bear our weight much more. So if you think, for example, if you were on your hands and knees for whatever reason, and a child came and jumped on your back, you would, you would clench your abdominal muscles to bring your back up to support them. And it's the same with horses. It's these abdominal muscles here that need strengthening to lift and to bear our weight. So you can see here, it's not sounding great. Sounds great. Good boy. So you can see here with Lonnie, he's a little bit dropped through his abs here. And as such, his back has dropped a little bit. But if we were to make him lift up his abs, just by scratching them, we can see that here, his back lifts a little bit more. So as he, as he brings his abdominal muscles up there, his back lifts a little bit. So that's one thing that you can be doing before your saddle fitter comes, is you can get your horse used to lifting their back again and doing those little like abdominal crunches almost where they scrunch up their tummy like that and it brings their back up. So every day when you're grooming your horse, you could just give him a little scratch on his belly. You could go la 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 la, scratch him on his tummy until he lifts these muscles up through his back and then let him relax. And you could do it again, give him a scratch through here, let him lift his tummy up, lift his back, and then relax. So another thing that you can do to your horse is you can do something called a carrot stretch. Now I don't have any carrots, so I'm using treats. And Lonnie has a hay net full of haylage, so he might not be so keen on the treats, but we'll give it a go. So basically what we're gonna do is try and get their head through their front legs, because in order to get their head down through their front legs, they have to lift here, which is called the thoracic sling. They lift up the muscle through their chest, brings their wither up a little bit and then to bring their head down here they have to lift their abdominal muscles a little bit as well which again does that lifting of the back so we show them that we've got a treat let them follow it down let them follow it down follow it down and then bring it through his legs come on you can do it it's too fat for this Bring his head down, his front legs, nice and low, bring it all the way back. Good boy. Now the more you do that with them, well I've not had it done for a while because I'm a bad horse owner. The more you do that with them, the more they come back and they'll eventually get to the point where they're almost bowing. They'll bring their head right down to about here and their front legs will go down and they'll almost look like they're starting to bow. And that is fantastic for those abdominal muscles. Now we've all seen that stretch that people do where people kind of gouge down the back horse's bum with a hoof pick. Well, you don't necessarily need to do that. Instead, there's another one that you can do. 
but some horses can be quite sensitive to that so obviously you don't go behind your horse if they kick Lonnie doesn't kick he's a good boy and what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a W out of my fingers and I'm going to put the tips of my thumb into his bum like where his tail meets his bum crack and make a W on his bum and now where my middle finger meets his bum I'm going to give him a little scratch and you'll see it as I give him a little scratch he lifts up his tummy muscles and his back comes up with it can we see that now the key to that is to really scratch them so if you have nails like i do it's easier you can really scratch their skin sometimes people do need to use like the end of a pen or something so again you make that doubly with your hands where your middle finger naturally ends up you give a good scratch and then they lift up through their back and then he drops it back down again so that's basically equivalent of like with like a sit-up for us really and again it's those abdominal muscles contracting which lifts his back so when his back is lifted you get much more that shape that you want to put a saddle on because that's the shape his back will be under saddle that's one of the reasons we like to see you ride during saddle fittings is because your horse's back is a very different shape statically like this and actually when you're on board so sometimes Saddle fitters will fit with a little bit, not a lot, but a little bit of what's called bridging if the horse is naturally like Ugh, when it stands still. And then you might find that your saddle is like this and your back is the, the back is like this and the saddle is like this. And there's what's called bridging. This is obviously hugely exaggerated. If it looked like that, don't please don't put your saddle on your horse's back. But then as your horse works and lifts his back, it comes to meet the saddle. Now, don't ever fit a saddle yourself, obviously get your saddle fitter to fit it. What I'm trying to say is don't be worried if your saddle looks like it's bridging very slightly and your saddle fitter has said it's okay because the horse will rise into it. That's true, we've seen horses can lift their back into it. There's loads of other things that you can do. You can back up your horse in hand really quickly. I won't do that today, it's too hot. But like you can march them backwards every day when you bring them in, march them backwards 10 strides really fast. And again, when you watch a horse going backwards fast, they go, oh, and their back legs kind of come underneath them and their bellies come up. And again, anything that brings their belly in and their back up is strengthening through their belly, their abdominal muscles, and brings their back up to meet the saddle. I hope you find that useful. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and all of that kind of gump. Um, you can click on buttons that make you do that. Don't really know. And I hope to see you really soon.